Brothers and sisters, welcome to part 4 of our funny history of West Europe. Dominique, nique, nique, s'en allait tout simplement Au Dieu, pauvre et chantant En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu Il ne parle que du bon Dieu As you have seen, we had to change our religion very often and only by chance, not more often. Only to remember, the Mongols were with a breakneck speed on their way to West Europe. If their leader, Te Muchin, which means the blacksmith, or he's better known as Genghis Khan, didn't die, he would have ruled over whole Europe. Yep. Fortunately, he died and everybody from his tribe went back to Mongolia for his burial and forgot to come back to finish his work. Imagine today we were all called Mongoloids if he had won. Well. And then, remember, Charles Martel, Martel the Hammer, if he hadn't beaten Abdul Rahman al Ghafiki in the Battle of Tours, Europe would be invaded from Andalusia or Spain, how it's called today. And then again, in the Battle of Vienna, when the Turks from the Ottoman Empire stand before Vienna and brought us for the first time our yummy coffee. Mm, and this was scarce again. The absolutely ununited Europe just fought them back at the last minute. To celebrate uh, this, the bakermans of Vienna invented the croissant. Hmm. And so, we still today eat a half moon in honor of this one battle. Be happy to have today your alarm clock. If they had won, your morning awakening would sound like this. Believe me, even I don't know your actual music taste, but you would get used to this. So, if, how it nearly happened three times, we were Muslim, the question would be, are we no more evangelic or more Catholic Muslims? Yes, because with Muslims you have to know that they are all different and also somehow they believe all different. From Indonesia over Morocco to Arabia you can't put them all in one label. And this is because they don't have a Pope. And all this began with Mohammed. Okay. Let's take this as Mohammed, because how we learned in the caricature fight and from South Park, you are not allowed to make a picture for him. And anyway, it's maybe healthier for me to use this sign. Mohammed let write in the Quran that every man has the right to marry four women. And this was certainly a good argument to convert our old Germanics faster to the Quran than to the Bible, if they had known this. This rule is for every Muslim, only Muhammad himself was out of this rule from God and had 16 wives. Yes, God himself allowed him in a revelation to make this exception. Ha, 
he was a master to let approve his cravings from God. He was completely different from Jesus. Mohammed was a joyful, sensuous, bon vivant. He liked beautiful women, good food, and everything of this in mass. But look at Jesus. Women? No. He always preferred the company of men. Whatever. And? We have to add to this that Muhammad was a successful, wealthy, even rich businessman. When he became a prophet, he already was a one percenter of wealth. Jesus, he came from a very poor background. Look even today, if you have a holy nativity at home, there is always the fourth wall in the crypt missing. So, Christianity was for the first 300 years a religion for the poor, even for the poorest of the poor, for losers. You see the difference? Islam was directly government religion. Mohammed was a charismatic statement and Islam spread directly as fast as a camel can run. Islam was a modern religion. During this time in Europe our clergy lived in fornication. We had witch burnings, crusade, indulgence, trade and whatsoever. If you want an example, look at the Council of Constance and the link is below. To honor this event, they erected a statue from the noble courtesan Emperia, with in one hand the Pope and in the other the Emperor. And this is how they lived at this time. Churches were more brothels than prayer houses. During a time while in Islam universities were created. The main achievements during this period we received from Islam, algebra, decimal numeric system, Dunar kebab, and freedom of religion. Muhammad had declared no obligation in religion. Jews and Christians were allowed to keep their faith on the Muslim territory. Well, yes, I have to admit they had to pay a um, capitation tax. Yeah, a hair tax. And this is a very good concept. If the revenues are okay, tolerance isn't a problem. You see, this is what all the churches are doing wrong today. They take the money from their own members. This is hell stupid. And this is why so many people left the Christian churches. You must take the money from the others, from the pagans, the Jews and the Muslims. In Mohammed's days, this was so. If it became too expensive for Christians and Jews to pay, they converted to Islam and contributed also to spread this religion. But when such a charismatic leader dies, first everything goes downhill for a while. And this will be our subject for the next chapter of our funny religious history of West Europe. If you want a real skeptic analysis about Islam, I recommend you to visit the channel L'Orientalist. This is in two manners important. First, to really learn what Islam is, and two, some of the analytic skeptical videos from this channel are misused and quote mined by right-wing and Christian websites. So please find this channel and this will be my first link here below and subscribe to L'Orientalist. Don't forget your 
thumb up and to leave your remarks, your questions and your suggestions. If you like my serial and if you like my channel, tell it to your friends. If not, please keep it for yourself. For today, caress you and thank you very much.